Welcome to this GCSE revision question on finding mean from group to data. This is called group data because you've got class intervals here, which means that the data has been grouped into certain sets, and then they tell you how many days. Let's read the question. Linda recorded the temperature in degrees Celsius at 9 a.m. on each of 30 days. The table shows the information on her results. Let's interpret the table. For three days, the temperature was between 10 and 12. For eight days, the temperature was, be was between 12 and 14, and so on. You get the idea. These numbers here should also add up to 30. So I know that the sum of F is 30. And that's because this is F. It's the frequency of days that we had that. Now, to find the mean, which is what they've asked us to do here, calculate an estimate for the mean. Give your answer to one decimal place. To find the mean, I'm going to say that the mean is equal to the sum of fx over the sum of f. Now, you might want to know where is all that coming from? Well, we already know that this is f, this is the frequency, so we need to find x. And x is the midpoint of our class intervals and basically the midpoint of these here. So we can fast forward the video here. So now that we've got that, now I need my fx. Now to get my fx, fx will be your frequency multiplied by, this is the frequency, multiply by the midpoint. I'll pause the video here and fill this out. Okay, so now we have multiplied them all across. So 3 times 11 and then 8 times 13 and so on. Now we need the sum of fx. This squiggly bit means the sum. So I need to add all those up, which works out to 434. So therefore, the mean is going to be the sum of fx. This squiggly line means sum. So once we add all those up, we got that there over the sum of f, which is 30. So we just need the 434 divided by 30 there, which is going to be equal to 14.5 to one decimal place because that's what they ask for. Make sure you put that on the line 14.5 and just like that this is finished.